What's up YouTube? It's Chris with Murphy Firearms Training and uh, we did a video comparing the Ruger Alaskan to the Smith & Wesson 460 PC snub nose. This is a 2.5 inch barrel. This is a 3.5 inch barrel. This is the 454 Casal and it will shoot 45 Colts. This is the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum and it will shoot 454 and 45 Colts. And we did a video comparing these a little while ago and someone said you need to shoot it. Y'all, I have shot it. I'll show you the cylinder burn there. You work up a handload for this gun. You cannot sit at the range and shoot a lot of them. It is brutal. It is brutal. And it's a big, heavy gun, but wow, it's brutal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the ammunition, and then I am going to do a recoil comparison. So this is my favorite 454 Casol hand load right here. This is my favorite 454 Casol hand load right here. This is a 320 grain wide flat nose with a gas check. These are bullets that I mold myself and uh, they're loaded up pretty warm. They're loaded up pretty warm. I'm either using 296 or I'm using Little Gun and uh, it is pretty warm. Okay. Now, for comparison's sake, let me grab that round again. There is my 460 Magnum hand load. Line these up so that you can see. With a 300 grain XTP. And this has two crimp grooves. And to meet the reloading requirements in the manual, I use the bottom crimp groove. I know some of y'all are going to say, why didn't you seek to bullet all the way? Because um, I like to keep my cartridge overall length where the manual says I should. And that puts it in that bottom crimp groove. So, anyway... And uh, just to give you an idea, folks, uh, this load here is somewhere around 28 grains of little gun. I'm just guessing. I don't remember. It's not on. Uh, I brought it in a different box than what I loaded it in because I only brought six of them. But this is this is somewhere around 30 grains. I think it's under 30 grains of little gun. This is 42 grains of little gun. This is 42 grains of little gun. And that is on the low end. The low end of the 460 spectrum. And then, oh, I'm so stupid. I ordered some 360 grain wide flat nose gas checked bullets. These are from Cast Bullet Performance. Bought them with my own money. They didn't send them to me. But if you work for Cast Bullet Performance and you want to send me bullets, please do. Uh, I will gladly take them, and I will. They are good products. I will tell you, they didn't pay me to say that. They're good bullets. Um, I, really uniform good bullets. They're better than the ones I mold. Uh, but anyway, this is loaded over 36 and a half grains of little gun, and it's 360 grains. Whew. So I'm going to set this up on a tripod, and I'm going to shoot this in the Alaskan, two or three of these. And then I'm going to shoot these in the 460 and let you see the recoil comparison. All right, guys, up first, up first, I am going to shoot two 454 Casals. These are out of the little fire-breathing dragon. These are out of the Ruger Alaskan. I'm going to shoot one single action, one double action center mass on a Q target. Here we go. Check the recoil, folks. There's one. Shoot the second one double action, like I said. Two. Okay, boom, boom. Good God, the percussive force off of that is unbelievable. All right, open my ammo can back up and throw my ammo in there. All right, now, oh, I hope you guys like me. While I'm loading this, I'm going to come over to the camera and show you guys something. Every revolver has this flat spot and this little half moon. The direction that half moon is pointing in gives you the rotation of the cylinder. So you want this empty here to be over the barrel because it's going to rotate to this one here as your first round in the chamber. So anyway, all right. Oh, 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. 
Single action, double action. Here we go. Single action first. Single action first. Here we go. Double action, here we go. And I'm gonna tell you what kills me is this gun is so accurate. Uh, it is so accurate. I mean, I. Got I got two holes touching each other. <laughs> it is so accurate. Um, but boy, oh boy, is it hard to shoot. Um, all right, anyway. So hopefully y'all saw the recoil difference there. And I'll maybe even do some good slow-mos of this. Here comes the 360 hard cast. These are the ones that really hurt. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> all right. Oh, man, why am I doing this? Here we go. Wow. All right, double action. Man, ah, uh, those are brutal, and they do stick a little. Um, the primers are a little flat, but they're they're within pressure specs. But whoa, boy, do those hurt! Um, I'll be honest with you, I enjoy recoil. That's the edge of my tolerance right there. That is the edge of my tolerance. So. I'm going to snap up a couple more of the 300 grains. And now I got a silhouette at 25 yards. And I'm going to see how much this 300 grain, and good Lord knows what speed these things are moving. I have not chronographed it out of this barrel. Um, but I imagine even out of this short barrel with all that powder, they are moving. So let's see if you can hear me ring some steel, folks. This is at 25 yards. This is a full size. Full size silhouette, 25 yards. Do not flinch. Oh, that hit. Woo! Try again. <laughs> the first one I hit him in the head, it didn't rattle. I bet you heard the second one rattle. I hit him center mass. All right, one more. Here we go. One more. <laughs> center mass. I flinched. I felt myself. I was. I knew I was going to do it. I flinched. All right. And uh, they do. Um, they do like to stick. These 460 cases do like to stick. I'm going to shoot one more at that thing because I feel bad that I flinched. I can't stand it. Um, this is a monster of a gun, and I will tell you if something's up close and personal to you. Um, woo! Wow. 
you're gonna burn the hair off of whatever critter it is um, just with the muzzle blast. But all right, here we go. Here we go. Let's hit that swinger one more time. And uh, boy, oh boy, it hits hard. These things hit hard. I can't even imagine the velocity you're getting with those. Wow. So, uh, man, oh man, I hope that shows you the recoil difference in these. Um, whoo, my wrist hurts now. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it is it is a monster, and I do have a chest holster for this thing. Um, and I'll tell you, I mean, carrying full house 460 loads in it, um, I, I believe personally that would go stem to stern one end to the other if you had a hard cast bullet. Uh, something like these, uh, these cast performance, these, these 360 grain wide nose, they, uh, I, I believe those would go from one end of a grizzly bear to another um, and maybe come out the back end and keep going. Anyway, uh, perhaps we'll have to do a jug cast. I don't know that I have enough water jugs for that. But anyway, thought you'd enjoy that, guys. And... Uh, you know, so please like and subscribe. We appreciate the support. And, uh, you know, if you want to see something, uh, someone wanted to see a recoil comparison between these two, here it is. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that probably cost me 50 bucks in ammo. <laughs> but we appreciate the support, guys. Please like and subscribe and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video.